I'll show you the secret behind this amazing apple recipe. Few people know how to make it like this. In a large skillet over medium to low heat, start by adding a 240 milliliter cup of refined sugar and spread it all over the bottom. When the sugar starts to melt, stir very well until it turns into caramel. When that happens, add four apples cut into thin strips and stir very well for another four minutes over low heat. This is the right point. Remove from the heat and transfer everything to a round baking tin greased with butter and wheat flour. And spread evenly over the bottom until flat. After doing that, in a large bowl, add three eggs, half a cup of refined sugar, half a cup of vegetable oil, half a cup of water, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and mix everything very well. Take this time to share this video and write in the comment section the name of the city from which you're watching it and we'll make sure to leave a heart especially for you. Oh, and thanks for sharing this video. When the mixture reaches this consistency, add two cups of wheat flour and mix until combined. Have you got that recipe app? It's already available for download. With this app, you'll have access to all our recipes in the palm of your hands, and you'll get notified every time we upload a new recipe. In addition to all that, you'll also have access to an exclusive area in which you can bookmark your favorite recipes. Go to the App Store or Play Store now, type that recipe, and download it. This is the right mix. Finally, add one tablespoon of baking powder and mix gently until incorporated. I hope you're enjoying the recipe. Share it with your friends. By doing so, you'll be helping us go even further. After doing that, transfer all this batter to the tin with the apple caramel. Gently tap the cake tin on the counter to evenly spread the batter. Take to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and let it bake for 40 minutes. But keep an eye on out, as this time may vary depending on the power of your oven. This is the right point. You can unmold the cake onto a nice serving plate. That recipe is ready, you may now get a slice and enjoy it. I hope you liked this recipe. Now I'll head to the comment section and leave a heart to everyone who left the name of their city. See you next recipe. Bye-bye.